Welcome to Turkey Valley at 50, the 1990s. An interesting decade because at the beginning of the decade, some of the students still actually had used a typewriter and knew what it was. But by the end of the decade, there was no such thing as a typewriter. As computers began to take over the education at Turkey Valley. This report brought to you by John Cuvalier of Insurance Associates of Lawler and by the Farmer's Mill in Prodovan. We're going to be talking with Katie Fensel and Katie Cuvalier, a 1999 graduate of Turkey Valley, and Katari Lankrick, a graduate of 1992, and from 1991, Jess McCone on this report. So right now, Let's talk with uh, Katie Fensel as she talks about the music program at Turkey Valley in the late 90s. Roger Barloon was the uh, choir, the music director at that time, um, and him and his wife Kate um, kind of co-directed the the musicals. Um, She did the choreography, and that was just so much fun. Um, Being a part of the musical every year, um, that was kind of one of the big highlights for me. Um, And then also I can just kind of remember... um, the summer after we graduated was the year that uh, the baseball team made it to the to the state um, finals. So that was that was an exciting thing too um, that I remember. Well, you've been out of school for a little over ten years now, out of high school anyway. And what um, do you feel the education you received at Turkey Valley? How has that helped you in in your life so far? Um, well, I think, and you know, one of my our graduating class was one of the the smallest on record. There, we had forty two people in my in my graduating class. So, I think just having the small class size, um, being able to work a little bit closer with the teachers one on one, I think that just kind of gives you a better uh, better education, um, a better chance at excelling in the in the programs. And um, I don't know. I just think being that small of a class and and being close like we were, um, that's just something really special that you don't, you don't see. And Katie and her husband, Kyle Fensel, spent some time away from the area, but decided to return. You know, we lived in a, a suburb of the cities, and, and it wasn't a very large suburb, and actually the downtown did kind of feel like a small town, but the plan was always to move back home, just to be close to family. We both love that small town feel where you walk down the street, you know everybody you see, everybody's friendly, waves, says hello. So the plan was always just to come, come back around this area. Happy 50th, Turkey Valley, and all you great students and parents through the years from John Cuvalier of Insurance Associates of Lawler. John really is a community guy. He's concerned about what goes on in the Turkey Valley family. He's also someone that will give you absolutely outstanding service when it comes to your insurance needs. Service, something we don't get a whole lot of these days. But John Cuvalier of Insurance Associates of Lawler will give you the best possible service. That is his main selling point. And another biggie. It also falls in line with service. Since John Cuvalier is an independent agent, he can look at several companies to find the best possible solution and price for your insurance needs, no matter where you live in Iowa. For your auto, your home, your farm, your crop, your commercial insurance needs, give him a shot. John Cuvalier of Insurance Associates of Lawler. Click on his card on this page for more information. Talking with uh, Katari Lankrick, now a Katari Lifeker. She lives around the Des Moines area in Johnston uh, right now. Grew up in St. Lucas, a 1992 graduate of uh, Turkey Valley. And uh, Katari, one of the things uh, I would like to talk about, you know, today we have so much technology in our schools. What was it like as far as uh, computers and all of that uh, at Turkey Valley back in the early 90s? Well, I think, you know, as far as the, our school did a great job as far as providing, um, you know, I think back in 7th and 8th grade we had typewriters for typing class, and then I think by the time we were freshmen and sophomores we actually had um, Mac computer computers. Um, so as far as, you know, especially getting ready for college and stuff, they were great because, um, you know, at that time, 
um, when you did go to college, everything had to be, you know, typed. Hand- right. <laughs> Nothing could be handwritten or anything. So the word processing, you know, I think really helped out. Other things that were going on, I know you played uh, basketball. Uh, what were, were some of the things that stick out about, um, uh, you know, the years at Turkey Valley for you? Well, it's, um, looking back, like playing six-on-six six basketball, you know, that's generally unheard of right now. Um, and when I describe it to people, you actually have to describe it. You know, yes, we only played half court, or <laughs> it was a full court, but forwards ran half the court, guards ran the other half the court. So, um, yes, that sticks out in my mind. I think, you know, I think back, um, just the facilities that we had at Turkey Valley, I think were really, really good compared to other schools. Um, you know, playing softball, we were able to host a lot of the um, sectional and regional tournaments because we had lights. We were one of the only fields that had lights at the time. So that was a big, um, you know, a big asset for our team, just to be able to host a lot of the tournaments and stuff. And I just think our facilities were really top-notch and, um, it, you know, helped all of our sports teams and, and including, you know, even like um, just uh, for all the extracurricular activities, band and choir and I think um, they did a great job with facilities. Tradition. It takes years to establish. Like Turkey Valley, the Farmer's Mill in Prodovan has established a tradition of excellence stretching all the way back to the 1960s. As farming changed, so has the Farmer's Mill. The Merricks have made sure through the years they have been able to provide the product and the knowledge to help the area farmers be able to produce the food necessary to feed the world while maintaining profitability. Through thick and thin, the Farmers Mill in Prodovan has been a leader, not only in their business, but in the community as well. From check days, to Boy Scouts, to church activities and school happenings, both at Trinity and Turkey Valley, the Merricks and their staff have provided hands-on volunteerism to help build stronger communities. Yes, it is a tradition of excellence in more ways than one that has been established by the Farmer's Mill in Prodovan, serving the farmer and the community since 1964. Jess McCone from Lawler, graduated from Turkey Valley in 1991, now lives in Harmony, and her name is Jess Powell and a school teacher. She talked about uh, how things were back in the early 90s at Turkey Valley. I would say our class sizes were smaller than what I remember them being as an elementary student, but we were seemed to be doing the same things that they were before we got to high school. Everybody was in activity sports, music, musicals. Um, We were so fortunate even in the early 90s to be able to do it all. One thing sometimes forgotten is how important the school can be for the elderly in our communities. Jess is the daughter of two fixtures at different events at Turkey Valley, Jack and Ruth McCone, and she talks how important it is for the senior citizens of our area. It's nice that we have such a pride in our communities that that people still go, even though their kids and my parents' grandkids are graduated now, too, but they still feel the Turkey Valley pride and want to be there to support all the activities. And I think it's great that Turkey Valley as a school still reaches out to people whose children and grandchildren are gone. It's just... um, it's just neat that there's that pride among everybody. It just was a lot of fun to go to Turkey Valley, and it seemed like, and I'm a teacher now, and it seemed like, you know, at times you don't always appreciate the teachers and the administration and that they're really working for us. And I feel now, especially that I look back, that um, they worked really hard to make it fun and meaningful for us as students. And I really appreciate that, especially being an adult and a teacher, that It was a lot of fun, and you just felt a lot of pride going to Turkey Valley, and I feel that pride still as an adult. I'm glad to have gone to school there. Okay, that's uh, Jess McCone. Now, Jess uh, Powell lives in Harmony, Minnesota, of course, just right across the border, and uh, she was a 1991 graduate of Turkey Valley. And that's it for this edition of Turkey Valley at 50, the 1990s. It's been brought to you by John Cuvalier of Insurance Associates of Lawler and the Farmer's Mill in Prodovan.